It's quite fun walking down the corridors of school, asking children tables facts and seeing them recall those very, very rapidly indeed. It's about them being able to recall the response that we need quickly. Um, this programme has been really fun and enjoyable as well. This programme has been absolutely fantastic. Um, her confidence in tables has gone through the roof. Hello, my name is Alan Young and I was a teacher of mathematics for 31 years. In fact, I've taught every age group from 8 years up to 18. It's that time of year, of course, when youngsters are going back to school, meeting their new teachers, finding their feet with their new classes and starting all the new work for this academic year. But how are they getting on with their mathematics? And in particular, are they being held up by their lack of knowledge of times tables, which of course are becoming more and more important? Now, in my continued work with mathematics education, I do get to talk to a lot of parents, and recently I have been quite amazed that very few parents are aware that there have been four major changes in the curriculum in mathematics in recent years, and these affect pupils both in primary schools and in the early high school years. The first is that children are now required to know all tables up to 12 times 12. And when the government says required, that means they're going to be tested on them. Secondly, children are now required to know their tables by 9 years old and not 11 as before. Thirdly, fractions are going to be taught from the age of 5, which means that all fraction work will be moved further down the school curriculum than was the case previously. And fourthly, there are now no calculator papers in the Year 6 sets, i.e. Key Stage 2. Both papers are now non-calculator. Now, if those four major changes weren't enough on their own, here's a list of just some of the topics that your children will come across in their first few years of mathematics, and for which a good knowledge of tables is absolutely essential. So I hope you can see now how important it is for children to have a very good knowledge of times tables. Do you know, it's rather like you're trying to drive a car on a motorway, for example, and the clutch is slipping. Sometimes you're moving forward, other times you're held back. When you're held back, other cars go zooming past. And it's just like that for a child in the classroom. Sometimes the sums are easy and they can make good progress. Other times they're much more difficult, higher tables to be learnt. And they get stuck and they sit there because they don't know what to do. They cannot do the sums. And other children are zooming past. Now, of course, this is bound to create anxiety and stress. And then they're going to start saying to you, I don't get maths. I don't like maths. Well, actually, with a good knowledge of tables, most children could be moving forward at a very good speed. Now, what's interesting here is that most people, most schools and most parents are still teaching their children times tables the way that I was taught at school. And I have to tell you, that was in the 1950s, some 60 years ago. And this method, of course, is the chanting method. So what's wrong with chanting or singing, you may say? Everybody does it. Well, what's wrong with it? First of all, what the children are doing is practicing the times tables facts that they already know about 80, 85 percent of the time. And the second thing is chanting tables encourages his children to go right through the tables just to get to the one that they actually need. Now, this is such a waste of time. There's got to be a better method. And during my latter years of teaching, I developed the four-step program to times tables mastery. And what this does, it takes an opposite view. It focuses on the number of facts that the children do not know. Now, the whole program is set out in a teacher-parent manual and a student workbook. And used together, we have found by testing this in local schools, that most children can learn all their tables up to 10 times 10 in just 30 days. In other words, by this time next month. And then just a few more days to take them up to the 12 times 12 table, which is now required. Now, if I was sitting where you're sitting, I have to say, I'd be saying to myself, just a minute, this seems too good to be true. And in my experience, things that seem to be too good to be true often are. So what I would like to see now is people like head teachers and parents telling you what their experiences are with the four-step programme. So, here they are. 
As head teacher of a large first and middle school in Worthing, I have taught in both primary schools and secondary schools, uh, teaching maths from children aged 4 to aged 18. Uh, and it becomes increasingly frustrating as children get older uh, if they don't know their table facts, um, and even if they're having to work out the answers in a long, a long multiplication, for example, using their fingers, so they would be going 6, 12, 18, 24. In the middle of a long calculation, that, that can be very difficult for a child because they'll forget what they were doing and, and where they were at. Uh, even more frustrating is if a child has to say 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6, just, just to be able to know that uh, 9, 6 is a 54, for example. I was thrilled when Alan approached us as a school and asked whether we could um, start to introduce the four-step programme to see the success of it. So we set up uh, a trial with two equal ability classes in year four uh, and one group continued the work that they'd been doing on tables, chanting the whole table right the way through. And the other group, um, Alan came in and worked with the teacher to introduce the four-step programme. They carried out a test with both groups at the beginning and with both groups at the end. When we did the test at the beginning of the trial, we noticed that given any amount of time, uh, the majority of the children knew their tables. They were having to do lots of working out on their fingers, um, but they were given as much time as they needed. At the end of the trial, we did another test, very similar, and the children in the class that had not been using the four-step programme, their results were almost identical to the results at the beginning of the trial. The children who had been using the four-step programme, their results were significantly different. They still got the majority of them correct, but they were able to answer the, the questions in about half the time. And that's very significant in my eyes because it's not only about children knowing how to get the right answer with their tables, but actually it's about them being able to recall the response that we need quickly so that when they move on to learning long multiplication and algebraic expressions and, and everything gets more difficult, they're not having to fumble over working out a, a calculation that they should be able to recall very quickly. So I'm delighted to recommend Alan's program to you and uh, we've been thrilled with uh, his work with us. Well we've adopted the four-step approach to learning times tables over the last two years at our school and seen tremendous success. Alan has led staff training for us and our classes from year three take part. We've seen children quickly engage with the process and learn their tables rapidly. It's quite fun walking down the corridors of school, asking children tables facts and seeing them recall those very, very rapidly indeed. Our Year 6 teachers especially have often said to me it's such a relief to see children in their classes who know those tables so well that they can concentrate on the rest of their mathematics. Before this, um, I tried this programme, I was really not confident in my times tables. Now I feel really confident. My teachers have also noticed a big difference um, in my maths, and so have I. Um, this programme has been really fun and enjoyable as well. I have noticed a, um, a huge increase in Megan's confidence while she's been um, learning these times tables. This programme has been absolutely fantastic. Um, her confidence in tables has gone through the roof. I can't recommend the programme highly enough. Well, I hope that's convinced you of the success of the four-step programme to Times Tables Mastery. So let me just take one minute, if I may, to summarise the benefits of this programme to your children. After following the programme, as described in the handbook, your children will have instant recall of all required table facts up to 12 times 12, and of course, they'll know them backwards too. Confidence in mathematics lessons will improve enormously and anxiety will be greatly reduced. Facility with all the topics I mentioned earlier will be greatly enhanced. Your children will quickly get ahead of other children who have similar mathematical ability but who have a poor facility with times tables. You will be proud of their achievements, glad they are more relaxed in mathematics lessons and see they are making good progress. 
they will be much better prepared to tackle the two non-calculator papers for the Year 6, that is the Key Stage 2, SATs. And lastly, you won't be wasting hours chanting tables unnecessarily. Now, every week you delay will be another week when your children may be struggling with their mathematics in their lessons at school. So please, don't let that happen. Click the Purchase Now button, which is over there on the right, and by this time next month, your children could have a totally new outlook on their mathematics. And may I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you for listening.